Hello, hello. So, uh, I am suffering from lots of difficulties with my hands. So, I asked someone to write for me an app called Veil. Uh, and you see it here on the right. Um, just to be clear, it works only with Apple Mail. Uh, but now let me show you how it works. So let's say I open an email, an, a test email I sent to myself, and I want to respond. So I have Veil open. Uh, this, is, this is the app. Uh, I'm using version 2.0.1. So, um, and I press the top button, which is the record. And I'm recording, and I'm saying, hello, hello, hello. This is Dana Rielli. How are you? Thank you very much for writing me. Um, and then I respond to the person who wrote, wrote this email, which is me in this case. I can respond to everybody, uh, or I can start a new one. In this case, let's just respond. So now I have an email that starts with your friends. I'm having some... Uh, I'm trying to save on typing, so here's my reply. And if you want to see it, we can open it with, a, let's say, quick time player. And here we're playing it. And I'm recording, and I'm saying, hello, hello, hello. This is Dana Rielli. How are you? Okay, so when, when somebody gets it, in this case, it'll be me, uh, there'll be an audio reply in the, in the email. <clears throat> so that's how you uh, use Veil in the standard way, uh, looking at an email, uh, reading it. By the way, here's the response has arrived. Um, and it's downloading slowly over a very slow Wi-Fi, but here it is, and we can play it again. And I'm recording. And I'm okay. So that's the standard way of, of using Veil. You get an email, press record. You finish recording, you press respond or respond to all. OK. Um, another option is to record something and say, hi, this is a new email from Dan. I don't know yet who I want to send it to. Now, of course, because of that, I can't use respond or respond to all. So I press the plus. And, and now it opens a new email, and I get to type in the, the person. I'm sending it to myself just not to confuse uh, not to confuse anybody. So we have the, the first three button buttons. By the way, there's a way to shrink the rest of the window and just have record and respond, which is mostly what I use, but sometimes you need respond all um, and, and a new message. Okay, so that's the, the standard way. Now, there are a couple of other buttons here. There's a button here. It, it, a trigger that says uh, automatically send replies and automatically deletes. Let's, so let's see what happens when I just use the automatically send. I will take this one and I say, hello, hello, this is Dan. Thanks a lot for writing me. And now I reply, but I reply when the send is on. So what happens is it sends it already. So it, it both, if when this was not on, when this was not on and I and I recorded something, I'm recording, recording, and I press, whoops, new things have arrived. But okay, I'm uh, responding, responding, and I say reply. Oops, that's stuck with lots of things happening in the background. But so let's do it again. If I press um, record, 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 and I press reply, it opens the email. And I can verify it and press a uh, press send message. I'm now going to just don't save it. But if I press the respond and I record something, it would attach it and send it already. So uh, it saves me another another button and somebody as somebody who's trying to save. Uh, mouse clicks and movements, I find this automatic respond very helpful. There's another one that is uh, the delete button. 
now what happens with the with the delete button okay, let's just take another email with the delete button notice this is test four with the delete button I record 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 I press respond it sends it and it deleted it so this saves me uh, <coughs> most of the work so mostly I have it on respond automatically and 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 delete okay there's a couple of two other buttons here one is this uh, here on the on the bottom right it like represents attachments and what it has is some automated text so for example I can pick no time and you see now it picked something it, the icon changed and I will not send it automatically I will look at it what happens now it has a, a text message that I pre I pre created so if you look if you look here you can create your own automated text response for example I'm saying I'm not not traveling or let's say I'm using this one automated response and now when I click respond it puts in this automated automated response so if you if there are things that you uh, uh, write <coughs> often I'll show you in a minute where to where to put them and then the last is uh, <coughs> preferences uh, where the uh, recording folders are uh, all the, the audios where they are uh, where the optional recorded message are uh, what should be the header for the a new voice message subject um, it says a voicemail from Dana Rielli um, and then the, the, the new message is uh, dear friend I'm trying to save on my typing as you saw before and then it's different for a new message um, here is my recording of my email here's my recording of my reply because this is for the the bottom one is for reply this one is for new email and then you could include val in the tagline of the email if you want to or not you can the the voice file can can be called on the name of the person that you got the message how long do you want the messages to be to be kept um, do you want them to move to be um, to move to trash instead of being fully deleted so if a mess message is more than a, a month old um, what is going to be the sending account uh, how long do you want the delay between the record button and when you start recording and then a maximum recording so all of that uh, is is there this is um, this is the place where there are lots and lots of messages right so if you want to do this this is the the place where I have these automated messages they're all in in the te a text editor with the ending txt <coughs> if I want to send something and and the rest of it should be uh, self self-explanatory uh, so um, so where we are we have we have a system that basically helps people um, with difficulties in in typing uh, to record and send uh, uh, voice emails uh, it helps to um, respond create new email uh, there are some advantages of this especially you know it saves timing uh, for people like me that have a, a sort of a sense of humor that sometimes works but certainly doesn't work in writing it's a little bit better when I say something that I think is funny and it's <laughs> I laugh to myself <laughs> so I hope that people understand it's funny uh, I think there's less place for ambiguity uh, but of course this system creates a higher burden on the people who are listening uh, it's easier to to read uh, faster uh, uh, people don't always know how to record sometimes it's very long uh, even in this uh, video you saw there was a mistake at some point and I, I, re I redid it so 
Um, it's not, it's not uh, without costs, uh, mostly costs for other people. Um, so use it, uh, use it carefully and realize that you're um, taking uh, other, people's, other people's time. Uh, but uh, with, that, with that caution, uh, I hope that you will enjoy Veil and you will find it, find it useful. Uh, all the best.